Buddy and welcome. We are continuing some more Final Fantasy 14 here. And uh, we're just starting off in this new area named Kugane, I think, or, or something along, like, along those lines. We literally just got off the boat here, and then I stopped last time. Um, since last time I streamed and also played the game, I also decided to make a little bit of changes. Uh, previously, all my ats were Cassis Clay. Um, I figured to change that to actually Cassis Plays. Um, for the most part, people can just call me Cassis, or if they want to call me Play, sure. <laughs> but uh, I figure Cassis Plays is a little more fitting since a lot of my games and playthroughs that I do are literally Let's Plays. So, cast this plays, cast this plays, let's plays, basically. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then if someday just cast this becomes available on like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, things like that, then I would change it to just that. But until then, uh, yeah, this is what we got. So I figured I'd just say that, but anyways that's about all i have right now um so i guess we'll jump in let's go ahead and cut on the uh or well i guess technically cut would be turning something off right okay is there such thing as cut on uh what i'm trying to say is cut on turn on the webcam so there we go uh yeah so it actually I didn't realize, but it looks like we have a, uh, a class quest to do. So, I think I'm actually going to knock this one out real quick, and then we'll do the Man from Ulda quest. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm currently level 65. Oh, wow. We hit 65. I didn't even realize. Let me go here. Hope your day is going well, going to work. I got a bit, feel a bit under the weather, but I hope your stream goes perfect. Hey, Ashley, thank you for stopping by. And uh, I hope you feel better and everything. That sucks. But. All right. Over to. The EG Stenchial Crisis. Eggy. I don't even know how you say that. EG. It's like technically the summon. Uh, since I do play a summoner class. But I guess we'll see. I'm just going to skip through this. All right, time to go to Ulda. Yep, yeah, okay. For a second, I don't know why. I thought that was the MSQ uh, for a second there, but. Is this gonna get me a new ability? I thought our next ability wasn't until like 67, 66 actually. So I think I think this is just a an extra class quest then. But I want to keep up on it instead of just letting it slide slide by us cuz then it I'm sure it'll pile up. So for now we'll we'll just knock it out. Might as well. I hope this is the right way. Actually, never mind. I love this song right here. This song is so relaxing every time. I can go to sleep with this song on in the background. This 
speak with the elite flyer. What time is it? So it's 2.30. We got a good amount of time today. Uh, later on today, I have to go get some groceries, but uh, go pick them up. Besides that, not much is going on. I might have to step away here and there if my wife needs my, my help with something because she's doing a little bit of uh, swapping out some kitchen stuff. But we should be good for the most part. Rescue the summoners. His wounds are too serious? Are not too serious. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna leave him for dead right there. We gotta pull out Carbuncle. Forgot to do, uh, launch him. Or spawn him. Still doesn't get old with Astral Impulse. I still love that ability. There's a few down. Guessing we have to go all the way up there. That looks like a door up there. Um, wait, this is the PvP map that I played on. <laughs> I've only played PvP one time. But I'm pretty sure this is the same map. Yeah. Yeah, it literally is. I've been wanting to do another PvP match just so I can get those marks, the wolf marks, because I really want to get that Stormblood PvP armor. I technically should be doing it at least once a day if I want to get it, but the only thing I don't like is if you're doing, if you're in queue for PvP and you need to do a solo mission. You have to get yourself out of that PvP. So like if I or that uh, Q and then it just resets again. That's the only thing. If it didn't do that, then I would probably just sit in the queue and let that go while I'm running other missions. Depends though. I love how quick the Garuda spells are. They're so fast and you run through them. And then honestly, like the timing is so good with uh, with this new summoner abilities. Every time I finish with Garuda by that point, usually uh, Red Worm Trance is back up again. And then I can just call that in and then cycle the cycle continues. And also now, since we have uh, Rune 4, I can use that, which extends it by another like few seconds. Oh, I have Bio on me right now? Interesting. Haha. <laughs> 
I love them YouTube bots. close to dying. Oh boy. Where did, did I miss somebody? Like, where's my teammate? Uh, I forget her name. Oh God, there's another one coming. Oh geez. You know, for being the warrior of light, I have some pretty weak summons compared to some of the people that we go up against. Literally. Some people, oh my god, they can call in like literally like death incarnate itself. It's almost there. Dead. One more should do it. There it is. All right, that one was a little sketchy, little uh, nerve wracking, but we got it. We're good. We are good. The heck is this? He wants to go another round? No, it was a test. It was all a test. Master sorry. Maybe I should start reading these. You should suffice. What did you do? Another layer of security. Do not disappoint me, summoner. I'll be waiting. Okay. What was that about?
All right, back to New Gridania. Hand this in, and then uh, I guess we'll probably be going to the Man of Ulda. From Ulda. In the actual new area. I'm excited to check out this uh, Ugane, I think it's called. Something like that. It looked really cool uh, when we were arriving there on the boat. Last time we did a dungeon, we were on the boat traveling. And then I think, if I remember, that's kind of where it stopped. Pretty much right as we were getting off the boat to get to that area. And then that's all we really got to. So. I feel so far away. So far away from this area. I'm surprised there isn't just a summoner um, location right nearby it. But. Tomorrow night is supposed to be the uh, the patch for this game. So I, I think what I'm, on, I'm going to plan on doing is tomorrow I'll play. Um, it's going to definitely be a little bit of a shorter stream because the they cut off the game at 9 p.m. But I'll probably play it uh, once I get home from work until then. And then after that, uh, then I'm going to try getting back into my old gym schedule. So, it technically would only be two stream, two nights during the week, um, and then one over the weekend, where I'd be hopping off early at like 9.15, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Definitely don't want to go too early now since uh, it's the new year and all the new year's revolutioners are. Oh no, I didn't attune. Crap, how am I supposed to get back there then? Uh, but yeah, this year technically I'm part of the, <laughs> the new year's revolutioners. So, since I haven't gone for a little bit, that's all right, though. I guess we have to go here? Be able to get there? Uh, honestly, though, how do I actually get there? novice I'm asking the uh the novice network how do I get to Kugane Limsa docks I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. I'm trying to get back to Limsa. Ah, all right. So we got to go to. That's kind of what I had a feeling of, but I wasn't sure. Um, I wasn't sure if we had to go to that specific area. Um, that was closest to it as well. But it looks like, I guess we probably can. Oh, there it is. Yeah, now I see it. Okay. 
Yeah, we're good now. We can... I never realized that. It says it right there. Are we gonna get the the full transition again of uh, or, or well arrival screen of walking up to it? I wonder. Did I just talk to this person? No, nah, that's best for Bay. Uh. Maybe over here, where all the other people are at. Wait, what is that? Welcome to Endeavor Fisherman's Guild. A lot of people over there. Ocean fishing, huh? Wait, so how do I get actually get there then? Uh, the only thing that they gave me an option to was Vesper Bay or do you go up here and then you go there Take me back. I didn't go to the right area. Um. Oh, okay. I had to talk to the sailor person. Now I see. There we go. Okay, so now we're back in Ugane. See how this goes. I really like the music here. This area looks awesome. By the Twelve? I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this... We are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. Not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. Oh! <laughs> a thousand pardons, my lady. Who's that? The signs of the seventh dawn, oh God. I presume. A hipster. I hope the voyage was not too trying. And you are. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollorito, I bid you welcome to Kugani and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. Lollorito? I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kagane. Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants, especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? I beg your pardon. If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Oh dear, have I offended you? Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and... One finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though, I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. 
Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollerito's invitation. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. Mm. To paraphrase, Kugani is teeming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. So, Something to that effect, yes. Sure. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. Hancock, show me what you got. I really hope that uh, they open up the um, world transfers tomorrow. I feel like the, the player count has been dying down a, enough at least. Or maybe even like open it up for like locations that are not as busy. This place, oh my God. This place looks awesome. I love this style. This style right here is so cool to me. That building look there, right there looks amazing. Beautiful. Let's see. Trying to get a good picture. Maybe right here. It's just like so far down. That's the only thing. I feel like I'm like taking the picture from the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out sometime. Whoops. I didn't mean to press that one. This area looks really cool though. Tune to the eighth right. Follow Hancock. Oh, 
Oh my god. This area is so cool. So neat. So this is the district shops. He's given us a tour, basically. It's an ancient Ingen word for gold. So this prosperous part of the gold fortunes made less fortunes or Kogane are earned by local merchants. It's all quite logically once you learn the language. <laughs> Starting to speak my language. Who's this guy? Master Keaton. Like Michael Keaton? It's kind of generous. Soul supervises all transactions here in Kugani. Your Eorzean Gill is welcome here. How kind. You'll find armors and things like that here. Sweet. Grab this Aether Shard. I'm gonna check it just real quick. I just wanna see like, so. Okay. Do they actually have uh, summoner books? They do. Looks interesting. I want to see what the armor looks like, though. Disciple of Magic. Let's go level 66. What does control do? Display high quality item details. Armor kind of looks cool. What about the 70? Does the 70 like have a different look to it? Ah, it does. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Hold on. All right, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> I like the uh, the front and back of the armor. It's like a giant chest plate that comes all the way down. Yeah, that looks awesome. So that's 70. What does uh, the 68 look like? Is it the same thing, similar? Okay. 68 has a different look to it. Interesting. If the hood connected, I thought I, I would think that looks pretty cool, but I don't like how the hood doesn't connect like that. 66 is the one that we tried on. I don't 
don't mind that that top piece. We're about 64. I swear, if the lower level stuff looks cooler. <laughs> That's a giant, uh, giant piece, head or a headpiece. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that part. I don't know. Eh, kind of like that. Alright, last one, 62. Casting, casting. Yeah, same thing. That last one, though, that 71 is pretty cool. I really like this stuff. Pretty neat. Twenty, so it's twenty-one k for each piece. We'll see where we're at uh, once we hit seventy. I didn't realize we're we're starting to level, level faster than we have in the past, at least. Okay, they got like food here. Is the highest amount of food like XP wise you can get only like three percent, anyways? I haven't seen anything that gives you any more than 3% and lasts any longer than 30 minutes. That's why I have like that, uh, a hundred of those, uh, steaks. My guy likes eating steak. Yeah, those are all the same thing. Wait, actually. Can I sell those, uh, yeah, these. Nice. Tool supplier, independent peddler. to the foreign embassies precisely it would not be all on unusual to cross paths with one of the garlean cousins here i would encourage you all to choose your words carefully we do not let one any physical altercations after all such a bats are strictly something These samurai are humorously. <laughs> All right, so basically, don't get into any fights while we're here. Pretty much. One second chat, I'm just checking something real quick. This area is so cool. I absolutely love it.
Actually, let me grab this real quick because we're right here. All right, over to the Ruby Bazaar. come right this way. Thaumaturges took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How could... <laughs> I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadan Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. That's Are good. you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. <laughs> me too, me too. Forgive me. This calls for a map. All right. We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier ah. said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely the Confederacy. Said maritime collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet 
guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea, and thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Mm. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll-takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. And should we find that they are still in Kagane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. One second here, chat. Trying to set up a uh, a cool Final Fantasy extension. I just found. Uh, for for Twitch at least. Okay, there it is. Should be working now. Let me see. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, I just want to see if that worked or not. Let's go see these guys, I guess. View Alphanald's sketch. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Wait, did I get that? Um, Aether. I don't know if I got this one. 
Did I ever attune to the big one? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'll have to get the Dory Markets one too. Actually, I might have gotten that one. It's that one right there. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Go over here. I'll get this, the in one, and then we'll go over there. This one too. I love seeing that giant building over there. So neat. There you go. Hand over the uh, sketch. So they won't help. So other person's nearby the center. Kotokaze. Okay. Statue of Zuko. Show it to the captains on the short pier. Yeah. Uh, there's a bridge above us. I think the only other way we can really get there is by going. Oh, maybe if we went upstairs. Yeah, if we went upstairs. We could have crossed that way, but that's all right. And we'll take a right here. If I was ever going to buy a home in this game, it would be here. Oh my God. That would be so cool. Hurt captain. Right, where's the final I guess they they're gonna be up here there's a third person unless if they're inside here
Start going up. Maybe over there. Yep, there they are. Meticulous merchant. Since I'm so close, I'm going to grab the pure one. Can't jump off. Can I jump down here? No. How do I get down then? It looks like you can walk off here, but you have to go down the steps or something. I just don't see steps to go down the level. The ship connects right there. Oh, maybe you actually can't walk onto it. All right, never mind. I don't think you can actually walk onto it. All right, let's just fast travel back over here then. It looks like they connect though. Like in the picture, they're literally connected. But for some reason, you can't. Okay, is she in the sin? Yeah, there she is. Speak with Goyodo. Back to the Ruby Bazaar. There they are. Wait with them on the bridge. I have to go inside and then walk upstairs. Do I, I don't have a minion out with me. Hey, let me look at my minions. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before and select my favorites. At least two must be favorited. This guy can be a favorite too.
Sure. Little Airmic too. Wind up airship. The melon. What's the difference for independent and One second. All right, so. Let me look up the Final Fantasy 14. Does anybody know what Final Fantasy 14 is for uh, the minion? What the difference is if they're in beat, uh, obedient or. Uh, does it make a difference? Actually. Minions are the okay gameplay behavior. Uh independent minion follows the player but roams around want when idle. Obedient, the minion follows the player and stays by the player's side while idle while idle. Stationary, the minion does not move at all and despawns when the player moves too far. Interesting. So it's when you're idle. If you stop walking. They'll either stay by you or start walking around, pretty much. Huh. That's a interesting technique. Alice. Proceed. He's late. He's late. Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. <laughs> this way, this way, quickly now. Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? This ship, this ship. I'm so very sorry to inform you, yes, yes. Long before was it pledged to another. To me, to me, these ones are for Doma. Did we just get betrayed? I knew it couldn't be this simple. We shouldn't have trusted Nothing personal, him. yes, yes, just business. Kick him into the ocean. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Kick him. Just punt him. No way. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Oh on, my god. I didn't think they were actually going to do it. I mean, they didn't kick him into the ocean, but they did. They kicked him into the uh, into the air. That's that's great. Now we're going to take him hostage, too. Hey, 
Hey, we, we didn't start this fight. We're just, we are defending ourselves. This is self-defense right here. She's literally holding him on her shoulder. I can't believe it. that's amazing. I thought she was going to kick him into the ocean at first. They caught our scent. Use these smoke bombs to make your escape. Uh, if they attack, then it will result in failure. Oh boy. Duty actions. Oh God. Don't turn. Oh God, where do I have to go? the way curious Kojin lead the way Ninja Turtle literally Ninja Turtle <laughs> oh there they are Duty complete. Now what? Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Clear the road, clear the road. You there, Korjin. We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them?
Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. All is well. The Sekisei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. That was a good distraction. You are returned, and with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Sekisei Gumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, Indeed. if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekisei Gumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why out of the kindness of my heart, is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? What kind of opportunity? Like many. I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Soroban, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. His face reminds ah, me yes. of the Green Goblin. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. You do? Saving us in all types well, of then. ways. Far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. Nice. And that in. Oh. Uh, well, that's. I, I keep seeing this, and I'm thinking it's the armor that I'm wearing right now, but it's not. Or. The. The other class that I have. Sure, I'll take it, I guess. Da -da -da. <laughs> I 
We're just gonna wait until he wakes up. Hold on one second, chat. All right. There we go. Follow Hancock over to the barracks. We can get actually there's probably one right outside this door. Yeah, I don't think I went to the barracks yet. Yeah, I definitely didn't go over this way. Oh, it says wait outside. It's about to go in. Oh, the little frog guy, Poro Rago, is following me now. You. Ah! Setsu. Was that? That was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's it in trouble. Was. Lise, wait. I suppose we should follow her then. to the samurai <laughs> how many is that now ten in a row Kazetsu. This is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. Hmm, 
it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty <laughs> Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekizugumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. It is but a pity you came too late to witness the last one. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord, we are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Doma samurai. And we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. Not bad. Uh. Okay. Not any better when I'm than I'm currently wearing, but. Turn to the Ruby Bazaar. So basically, he got out all by himself. And he never really needed our help. That's so much dialogue, literally. <laughs> What's up, Sazman? How you doing? How are you doing, my member? Hello, member. <laughs> Game loves their dialogue. Some of it's good. Some of it. If the problem is, if you sit here and you read out all of the dialogue, it's gonna take forever, or way longer than any any other game, which is not a problem. But when there's already so much other stuff, like there's hour-long, 30-minute-long cutscenes two and you're two two expansions behind expansions behind you can add up you grab this one rendezvous with soroban There he is. Shall we depart? After you, my shelled friend. The ruby sea awaits. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen?
I remember the water, how it turned crimson in the morning sun. A shimmering sea of rubies stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Ophard, our Doman brothers struggled in vain. Here we are. She's leaving a different way. Uh, how are we doing on health for our gear? Eh, that one's okay. That's good. Follow Lise. Uh, let's go into the water, I guess. All right, I guess so. We're just going swimming a bit here. Looks like. Whoa, I never realized. Wait, there, there's literally like volcano. That looks pretty sick. I thought we were just gonna be in this tiny little area, but no, there's an entire map right here. That's kind of cool. I wonder if we're gonna uh, be able to get aether currents here. Oh, I assume so. There she is. Speak with Tan Sui. Confederate sentry. That is just a living sentry turret. Standing by the steps, stopping anybody that may possibly try to make their way up here. Most honorable. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun. Nice, we have a good eye. Uh good boost on most of these open areas the only thing is when it comes to uh the solo stories when it down levels you it can get a little bit rough then but even then it's it's usually not horrible because the armor that i do have right now is has been doing me pretty good like yobex originally said Flying shark, literally. 
This area is very interesting. There's a lot of people watching cutscenes right here. <laughs> Everyone's just... We're all actually just seeing things. This is all in our mind. This isn't actually happening. Our actual character has a little bit of schizophrenia. Gentlemen, I'm told you are most unreceptive to my associates. So he requests. thinks he's on another planet. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, pilot. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just mm -hmm. as I thought. They were running Imperials from Star Wars. I have no time for this rubbish. Would it be because of the name? <laughs> Same. Same. We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent, and the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Emperor's table. All while hmm. our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she devil! 
Her perfidy knows no bounds. She must be stopped. Come, let us find Sullivan and put us here Wait. at once. All your messages just got put on hold. I did not see that. Tell right the others now. that these ones have paid. <laughs> we all have places to be. I had to check. I so I don't actually have my stream pulled up. So I guess well, that's a good test. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Maddie? One sec. How you been? Dude, I was so confused. Not well actually no, I wasn't so confused, but I have uh my stream pulled up behind me. And I check it every once in a while. But I saw your a bunch of your messages were on hold. Um Sasman. The name change had me confused, couldn't find you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you look up Cassus, it should still come up, but no, no, it's still, they still show up, but for some reason, they, it's because, uh, some words in there then gets displayed. Suck it, not members. <laughs> the Russian bot. Dude, I know, literally, like, so many of these, I don't know why these keep showing up. Ah. <sighs> And because of the accident and the dickishness. Okay, I see. <laughs> I don't know why, like, uh, let me actually check my, like, moderation settings. Because it shouldn't be that intense. We don't have to be PG-13. It can be a little bit of R. Um, YouTube moderation settings. What up, Maddie? How, how you been, man? What are you currently playing? Settings, community, details. Here we go. Or defaults. All right, I'm just gonna allow all comments from now on. If you have this hold for review, it will show a show or hide. If you take no action, chat messages will be taken from yours. We remain hidden from yours. Okay, cool. I'll just be creative with my swearing. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it actually uh, covered that or not. I mean, I do have a chat bot uh, in each of my streams anyways. But I didn't know that uh, it was that strict. It's the only problem with like some moderations. It can be a little bit rough. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's fully unleashed now. So now it can be anything. Weird, there's no um third part, or at least as far as I can tell, there's no third party. <laughs> That reads, uh, um, what was it? Reads, uh, YouTube emotes yet. At least I don't think. So, like, I think all my YouTube event emotes, uh, aren't going to show up in the, in, uh, chat. But if, uh, Twitch emotes do, but uh, nobody has those anymore since I don't, I'm not an affiliate. I think they should enable, uh, like, emotes and things like that for non-affiliates. But, whatever. 
Whatever, man. TTV emotes do work. They work there. They should work on YouTube. Um, there, there is also, you can use, um, uh, better TTV that that stuff does work on uh, YouTube now. If you have that in extension installed. So if you do like Pepe, Pepe W or like something or Monka S, I think it should come up technically. Um, let me actually check. Cause I'm pretty sure I have the extension. Yeah, maybe it's not working. YouTube or TTV. I think you actually need the better TTV uh, extension installed for it to work, which I'm doing right now. This Final Fantasy 14, I into good with the numeral numeral stuff. Yes, it is Final Fantasy 14. Uh, and same. <laughs> so no judgment there. All right, let me see if this works now. Uh, da -da, you can opt there. I'd have been needed. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, so you need the actual, Let's see. I'm gonna get a little bit inception here, stream inside of a stream inside of a stream. But yeah, see, if you have, uh, you have to actually have better TTV installed, but if you have better TTV installed, then the motes will work. Uh, check W, that, there it is. Check W. Lol W. I have it and it doesn't work. Oh, there is, um... One sec. Sorry, you're also seeing this. Um... Yeah, right now I'm in, I'm in the, uh... Second expansion uh maddie so um i've been playing this for a good amount they made a good amount of changes uh with the latest expansion and walker and it's been pretty cool so far oh let me do this real quick um says i think there's a way once you sign in you have to actually go to the better ttv website and then once you sign in, there's a way in here, I think, that enables you to see your, where is it? Better YouTube gaming. Wait, there's a better YouTube gaming one. Uh, it's, but it's not by the same people. Enhances YouTube gaming live streams with more moots.
Yeah, if you log into the website, there's a connection thing. Link your YouTube account to show your Better TTV emotes in your YouTube live chat when using Better TTV. I don't know if you need to link it in there. Maybe. Maybe it's just not enabled by by default. This is right here. I don't think this shows anything bad. But like I signed into Better TTV and then I went to connections and then you can sync it. You can sync it to Discord and then you can also sync it to YouTube right here and then you can disconnect. That's what I did. I don't know if everybody has to do that or it's only some people. The weird thing is, um, you can do it from the extension website. Huh? Yeah. I don't, I don't know why it's like that then, but I see them now. So it, the weird part is it doesn't show up like down here in the corner when the chat shows up doesn't show up there that for some reason oh okay so you have to connect it sick <laughs> that's weird I don't know why it's not on by default but I guess you have to connect it first like even if you just install the the uh, instant extension oh I can't speak just floating bomber fishes All aboard. Now my chat is in now the chat is in Polish. Wait, what? Let's get let's get this. Did he give us a ride to a different location in here? It's where um, the third party extension that I use to combine all the chats, uh, the multi-stream chat box, Even it doesn't for the work for uh, YouTube, better TTV obsessive. stuff, I guess. If only you knew how commonplace such scenes have become. Hmm. Are we too late? Over there, someone's coming. This guy again. It is she, sworn enemy of Doma, of my master, the traitor who sold her homeland to the Garlians, Yotsuyu. Interesting. The Viceroy herself. <laughs> And look behind her. Isn't that... Oh, filth and squalor everywhere I look. How very dumb I look. What I wouldn't do for a drink. Come now. You've no reason to look so afraid. You have lived through a quarter of a century of Garlean rule, remember? Why'd she get so loud? Tis better to bend with the wind than stand tall and be broken. Therein lies hope. Therein lies freedom. I come before you today seeking affirmation. A heartfelt declaration. You are free to answer me as you see fit, yet even the least among you should know the correct response. Should. Oh, shit. A resident of your village, one of your neighbors, mayhap your friend, was detained by the Kojin this morning. They say he was attempting to flee to Kugane. 
But we both know that simply isn't true, don't we? Have you anything to say? Hmm. Bit slow, this one. Is there anyone more sensible among you? Have any of you anything to say? To swear? My lady, I swear to serve the Empire, to do whatever is asked of me, and never disobey. Ah, well said, that man. Of course, it wouldn't do to simply take you at your word. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. He must be guilty of something or other, or he wouldn't have attempted to flee the Empire. Just turned into a gulag. Let me guess if he does. A family. Kami, forgive me. Kami, forgive me. I've always had a soft spot for men like you. Next, I want you to shoot those two over there. Too old to work, you understand. A burden on the Empire. And we can't have that. Well, that but one's understandable. They're my parents! You can't expect oh. me to... Shit. <laughs> Oh damn. We just watched it all. <laughs> we will show them no mercy. We will show Stop. them no I'm mercy. For a moment. If you go charging in now, every one of those villages is as good as dead. I mean, to be honest, they're probably dead anyway. We must consider anyways. the wider picture. If we act recklessly, we risk alerting the Garleans to our presence here, making it that much harder for us to work with the local rebels. To say nothing of the reprisals ordinary civilians would be made to suffer. Open your eyes, girl. They are already suffering. Let me go. I am putting an end to this madness. I will approach the village alone and identify myself as a former leader of the rebellion and a known fugitive. They will wish to detain me until they are certain they have learned all I know. Use this time to make your plans. You saw what those monsters did to the villagers. Who knows what they'll do to you, assuming they don't kill you where you stand. We live and die at the pleasure of the Kami. My fate is in their hands and no others. If it be of any comfort, I am no stranger to chains. You can't expect us to stand idly by as a comrade goes marching off to his death. And this is nothing like Kugani. Nor is it like the Reach, Lise, or the Wall. Let him go. Hold out for as long as you can, but remember, noble sacrifices are to remain an absolute last resort. I wish I could say it won't come to that, but only the gods know how we're going to get you and the others out in one piece. A miracle, perchance. A great tower stands to the north and east. Look to its occupants for aid and succor. Together, you may yet find your miracle. Now, leave this place. I must go. <laughs> oh. Another idiot like all the rest. 
I'm beginning to think it may be something fundamental. Something intrinsic. Something quintessentially dormant to ignore the simple truth. There, hello there. Do a damn thing if you <laughs> Enough, Yotsuyu! Hey, Fox. Thank you for the follow, for the follow there on uh, Twitch. How's it going? Uh, well, now, this is a surprise. Hear me, Yotsuyu! Cease this farce, here and now, and I shall surrender myself to you. Refuse, and all shall answer to my blade. Bring him to the tavern. Who's that? Hey, welcome back, Legend. Follow Alice. Okay, so do I? The question is, do I swim over there or do I just walk this way? Looks like we can just walk. Discovered a new location. Nice. Got some new abilities. Just ate one chicken patty with no bread and some salad because I want to die for the first time in my life. Nice. Hey, man. Me too. Soon. <laughs> I have, uh... Groceries that I have to get tonight, but it's pretty much like all... All that kind of stuff. So, same. chicken and fish and then tomorrow night I'm, I should be going back to the gym so same here basically I could have just swam across the ocean and it would have been faster the hell is that thing Some of these things are huge.
almost 66. And then I gain another, I, I think it's a pretty substantial ability, Searing Light. Uh, I forget if it is or not though. I didn't realize the giant fangs that these things have. Jeez. Oh, I never attuned there. I need to make sure I do that. Unless if I've never been over here. He's probably going to be like, you don't need to do that. Probably not that important. Gather information around Anokoro. Oh wait, there is one over here. Check the arms crate. Let me just snoop around in this real quick. Nobody will care. No sign, okay. find two more things to search one's probably over at that boat and then there's a stacked crate check this boat over here I'm assuming there's probably something there instead of chocobo porters they have falcon porters I just, <laughs> I just realized I 
Nice. I'll just fast travel over there. It's 30, 70 gil, whatever. Not a huge deal. Under the right circumstances, they might help us, true. All right, take this one. Eastern Bow. Nice. Oh man, there's a lot of quests right here. Pick up as many as I can. Uh, it looks like this one's actually up there, so I'm gonna go back up. Can't tell if it's either up here or on the ground. Thing. I almost walked around. Alright, so pretty much we're just gonna be helping them with their own stuff. Seems like this one we might just be handing in right here. Go to the farthest one first, then hit that, then hit that. of misfortune search for Gayuki's carcass we're almost there 66 we're really close actually oh god is tail for meat. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
There's one. Over to the last voyage. Search for the missing Confederate recruit. Yeah, this is the same area as before, it looks like. Price of betrayal, I wonder if that's a uh, Aether current. Is this the Ruby Sea? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a good amount of them. Oh, we need a... Okay. Southeast. Apparently there's one over there. Behind the rocks. What are you doing out here? Okay, last one. Give medicine to the seasick domain recruit. It's going to be just too deep. We got to be so close to that one then. It's like right there. The only problem is sometimes we're like you're not the uh, high enough uh, level for all of the uh, the currents in the area for like the side currents, side missions that give you aether currents. Otherwise, like almost every time I would go in and start focusing them, but depends. Southwest. Hundred and twenty six to southeast, a hundred and twenty to the west, eighty eight. Probably up there then. Northeast. Oh, uh, yeah, it has to be up there. Let me hand these in. Searing light. 
There it is. Increase the damage dealt. Instant. Uh, orders Carbuncle to execute Searing Light. Recast is 120, so let me actually... Yep, we're going to have to move some stuff down now. Um, unless if I... Let's put it up here. Okay, we'll see. If it's something I use often, then I'll just bump some other stuff down. Instead. Where's this? 85 to the south. It's probably up here then. Southeast. Who is this guy? Shogi. it's down that way thirty seven to the southeast that's southwest oh there it is the rotting fish use the rotten fish to lure out the aggressive uh, sharks and slay them are they going to be floating sharks again this island tends to have a lot of floating sharks Yeah, it seems like it probably going to be. There it is. <laughs> Very interesting. Increase damage dealt by self and nearby party members by 2%. Or by 3%. Um, I might honestly bump that down here. Just make it one. And then just bump those guys down one. So that way I can always be ready to do one and two. That one's pretty cool. I like that. for the industrial oh wait this way industrial in industrial in industrious <laughs> words oh, yes up oh, there it is what is going on here away you 
Now you. That's cool. Now I have a little buff for my teammates and myself. Our most compassionate nice. acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain <laughs> you understood our position. Hey, Criminetti, thank and you for the you follow with there. that same look in How's your eyes going? and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be bad yet to use wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today, and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Tell me, do death and destruction always follow in your wake? Pretty often, yeah. They had no part in it, Tansui. You know this. We all know this. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. So we attack and get butchered for our trouble? Or do naught? and let them have their pound of flesh. If this be our choice, I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure, we survive. There is no better path. Until the day our enemy is grown weaker and we stronger, there can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. So that's it then. You're just going to abandon them to her. They'd die for you, you know, for the Confederacy. They would die for you, but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs. I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested <laughs> it. Assuming we survive, that is. The question being, do you trust me? I get a choice. Do you even need to ask? Ask me again later. We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Then let us roll the dice. 
Roll for initiative. If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Garlean out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Asari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. Accordingly, we shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. <laughs> what, the three of you just like that? Have you seen how big I am? <laughs> Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on his own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. If we succeed, you help us liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager, if you have the stones for it. The Little Miss does make it hard to refuse, does she not? Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. Search for Elise, where'd she go? We also have a new quest here they're called Pulling Double Booty. So it's probably the uh, Aether Current quest. Yep. Okay. How do we get over there? Try to do this real quick. Going east, okay. Can we use the porter to get us over to the side?
Is it just like that easy? Like we just go over there? Let's find out. Discover a new location? Yeah, I guess it is that easy. I love how there's just a single boat out here. Wait, it's to the right of me? Hold up. How? Wait, what? Is this above? Huh? 